We're joined today by Rob Longley, Managing Director and CEO of Arden Unlimited. Rob, thanks for your time. It's a pleasure, David. Good to speak to you. Ontario, Canada, surrounded by gorillas. How big is the opportunity? It's, well, it's massive. There's, uh, Ontario has about 20 gold mines operating and new discoveries happening. Um, there's one right next to us, a Great Bear in Red Lake. Um, we've got a massive package where we're about to go drilling and find the next one, which is what this conference is all about. The next big discovery, we think we're in that space. The projects around you are, are massive on a global scale. Yep. How big are they for those who don't know the region? Sure, well Red Lake has produced over 30 million ounces over the years and obviously Evolution have a, a big hoarding in there. North of us, Muscle White has produced 5 million ounces for Newmont. And I think they've got another 4 million ounces in resources and reserves. Uh, Rainy River, which is the other way from us, is another 200,000 ounce per annum mine, which will run for decades. Um, so, just in that northwestern space of Ontario, there's gold production coming out of new discoveries and old mining centres which are still running at this gold price and the underexplored nature of it. And this region has attracted a lot of Australian companies recently. Yeah, and I think that's good. There's a lot of interplay between Australian and Canadian companies. You know, they're here, we're there. It works well. Um, other than in that space, we're focusing on our Canadian opportunities and our experience in the area. Um, Evolution have just moved um, east of their Red Lake main hub into Pickle Lake. Um, so they've staked some ground south of us for an exploration play. They see the opportunity in these regions which haven't been staked or worked before. Um, Orteco are at Pickle Crow alongside us. Um, and there's Australians everywhere you go in Toronto and around the place you know, when, you, when you start moving and it's in the dialogue. There's lots of juniors in Ontario and in Quebec next door as well. So it's, uh, it's a good interplay of the two, two sort of different network of people. And this land package didn't just come about overnight, it was diligently put together over a long period of time to make sure it was the right land package? Yeah, that's right. Uh, I picked up the semblance of a gold package a couple of years ago when you know, Ardern still had lithium and gold in the portfolio and we were looking which way to focus, so we absolutely took the focus towards gold. We've since joined Prospective Ground together to form an 870 square kilometre package which sort of extends 100 kilometres east-west and 30 to 40 kilometres north-south. So the greenstones all the way through there are, are ours to explore. Um, we're focusing now on about 50 kilometres which we think is the not necessarily the lowest hanging fruit but a great opportunity to make that big discovery. There's other areas where there's high grade hits but we're focusing on what is of scale and importance and where we can go drilling you know, for the next year or two and just give it a hard crack. And you've already got targets. Yeah, we've got 22 big targets and within that we're working with Southern Geoscience and some specialists to pinpoint strategic drilling. Uh, we're not wildcatting, we're not going to necessarily the highest hits that were in the past. We're working out why they're there. We're going to use some passive seismic there to work out the 3D structure and drill intelligently in a number of places. You know, drill, get results, drill somewhere else while those results are coming through, come back and work it through that. You know, do a, an intelligent drill program. And there's existing resources there, but the plan is clearly to enhance that on a much larger scale, to be similar, if you like, to those around you. Well, sometimes you've got to be a bit different as well, right? We're a good exploration opportunity investment, and that's what we're focusing on. We're not near mine or developing an old mine. We are brownfields, greenfields opportunities. We've got 110,000 ounces at one deposit at four grams, a good grade, which is an indication that when you do start drilling these things, you can build resources. And when we're moving over the next 12 months, there's a historical resource there of nearly 100,000 ounces at 5.8 grams that we'd like to convert to Jork, go along stream and, and work out how these things join together, which they have done at Great Bear. Most of the old hits and noise has joined together into one continuous you know, wall body. As you say, drilling is really the key to unlocking this tenement package. One of the key milestones in that is getting that drilling permit recently granted. What does that mean? Uh, it means we can turn the drill bit straight away in January, which is what we're aiming to do. We perhaps could have started now, but when we would have to shut down for Christmas periods, so it wasn't cost effective. So we'll start the rig turning on about January the 15th, is what we hope to start on, uh, and give it a really good hard push and maybe add rigs to it as we go forward. Um, and really focus everything on all the work that we've done to get that permit, which isn't easy in Canada. It takes time. Um, they're taking their time. There's, there's sensitivities there between the state you know, being sued by First Nations if you haven't undertaken sufficient dialogue with First Nations, which is what we've been doing there for seven years uh, in other projects. Actually at Pickle Lake, we've probably been speaking to the three First Nations groups for about three years. So they know us quite well. It's just a process to go through and then back to the mines department to get that permit. So one area is permitted. We now have three 
separate areas, Casagimus, South Lim, Esca permitted, and we've kind of got a template to go forward. The, the bit that we chose at Esca is probably the hardest part to get because all three overlap. So if you can't solve that, you wouldn't solve everything. So we've gone into a really good location geologically, but also an area where if you can't get your ESG right, you're not going to operate. So we've got that. You recently spun out the lithium assets. Does that now give you the focus just to be a pure gold play? Yeah, absolutely. And, and it brings value as well. So um, we've got free carry interest with um, green technology metals. Uh, and that is accruing value with the first share issue. We don't spend any time on that. It's, it's not a distraction. Other than it's all about being a gold explorer and getting the value from the lithium asset by other people's hard work, uh, which is obviously what Luke Cox and John Young and Cam Henry are going to do. They're specialists in the lithium area. We're specialists in the gold area. Recently enhanced the board with the appointment of Bruce. What does he bring to the company and how excited are you to have him on board? Uh, jumping out of my skin is, is kind of the, the quick way to answer that. You know, Bruce's history, for those that know it, is, is amazing. Um, starting off the evolution story uh, and building companies from this space. You know, we spent some time with Bruce and went through all the technical aspects of it. He, he did a strong examination of it as well as looking at the team, the jurisdiction, where we're at with permitting, funding, and he liked that entry point, which is, reinforces your own belief in where you've been pushing. And by having a mining engineer now aligned with me technically and to help me drive that, that force forward, uh, bring in more investor interest based on his experience and his networks is really, really exciting. I think if the managing director and, and the, um, what I call it, VP exploration or the, the president and the chairman have a vision of where you're going to go, it helps a lot get you there. And Bruce and I share that vision of where we think we can take out and the gold assets. An exciting land package surrounded by gorillas with the drill bit ready to spin and a new appointment to the board adding further executive weight to the company. Exciting times ahead for other shareholders. Absolutely, David. Thanks so, for your time. Thank you.